Sorry, I'm late, guys. Owen, why are your shoes untied? Oh, come on now, buddy. Oh. You're good. Put some ice yeah, on it. I must rub some dirt. You'll be fine, buddy. I must have forgotten to tie them. That's my fault. Should we? Amanda? I mean, like, every minute we waste is money lost. Like, we should get keep it going. How much money do we lose per minute? $5 a minute. It's unreal. Okay, I guess we can start then. See, I'm just because, like, I can build stuff, but I can't account anything. Like, I have no idea how much money we're going to make out of this. Like, saying we're gonna make like, five, we're losing $5 a minute? Yeah, I just pulled out of nowhere. Like, at the end of it all, like, I'm hoping we walk away with a lot of money. Hopefully it'll be a lot of fun. But, who knows it'll be the right decision in the end. Yeah, let's just get started so we can pick up where we left off. Okay, so our Purdue Student Housing Company is officially official, guys. We have all the certificates, licenses, documents we need. John, did you ever draft the signee contract? I brought it with me. Uh, I shared it with all of you. Uh, I finally dropped my last few classes, but I'm so bummed that I just got out of CM150. The other ones were getting old, but like, I'm happy like we're getting started and we're getting moving. Yeah, CM150 was like the best class of all time. The TAs were so smart and funny, and they're the most successful and awesome people I know. They're so cool, and I'm going to miss them really bad, and hopefully they give us an A. I mean, what? This company is going to be a full-time committed, running a company for the first time and learning everything about business. I mean, dropping out sad, but if it's what we have to do, we have to do it. So I haven't really told my parents about the part that I'm gonna drop out of school yet. When they asked for when they should pay for the tuition for next semester, I told them I got a scholarship so nothing was due, but in fact, they didn't. And um, with how much money John says we're gonna make, I don't really see the need for school. So I know I can eventually win them over when I tell them I'm not coming back. Told Sierra that we were gonna make a lot of money just so she would drop out. Completely lied about that. So it's time to start designing the first house. As I calculated, it looks like we have a budget of $100,000 to start with, and we already bought the land. But we need to be smart about how we're gonna spend the money. So let's work from the ground up. So we should design the foundation and work up from there. Okay, so you guys are gonna have to do all the calculations. I am not doing those again. This sucked. It's not that bad, but. What, what if are you we, talking uh, about? What if we worked from top to bottom instead? What? All what right, if... all right. Um, I'm gonna be very real with you. You're, you're my business partner now. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, well, like, okay, hang on. Hear me out. So we start with the roof, right? So then we cannot worry about the foundation stuff for a little bit because, like, honestly, I don't think many of us remember how to do that very well because it's really hard. So let's just start with the roof. You know, we know some stuff about that. You know, we have some previous knowledge. So let's just start there. Oh yeah, let's just build the roof on the ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think I think it's a great idea. Why don't you guys like this idea? Okay, let's just get back on track. Oh, and I'm not sure about starting from the roof down. I know a lot about roofing styles and materials, so I could I could definitely get us started on that. But it wouldn't be just hard to design a roof without knowing the foundation and how the wall systems are going to look like. Yeah, but like every other Purdue housing company probably starts with the foundation, and if we want to be any like different and special, we have to do something different. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry, but that idea sucks. You, Thank you. You're literally just jealous because I have so many cool ideas. Okay, buddy. Hi, guys. Sorry I'm late again. Don't you ride a bike? Oh, yeah. Um, bike lane, bike lane traffic. I was in class. I'm too scared to drop out because if we fail, we will all be screwed. We all agreed to drop out, but I'm trying to keep it a secret. I don't want them to be mad at me. I want to succeed, but I don't want to risk dropping out, or else I'll have to reply at school somewhere terrible like IU. Owen, why are your shoes untied? Oh, it's a uh, it's a it's a style choice. I really like them untied. Style. Owen, I have no idea what you're talking about. You can't tie your own shoes when you come into work. How are you going to design a roof before a foundation? I can tie my shoes. Okay, evidently I not. You I fell in this up. morning. I chose. I chose to do that. Okay, hey, so I assume we haven't gotten uh, much done yet, right? Workout. I'm just gonna start a company of adult Velcro shoes, not for like old old people, like senior citizens who like aren't supposed to be able to know how to tie their shoes. For people like me who should know, but really can't just figure, just can't figure it out.
debating whether we should start the design with the foundation or the roof first. Owen wants to start with the roof, which we know a lot about, but John says we should start with the foundation. Do you want to uh, remember how to do the calculations for the foundations? I can remember how to do it. Yeah, let's just start with the roof. Yeah, I'll start mm -hmm. Yeah, great. Let's take a look at composite roofing for luxury shingles. So it looks like they're really expensive. They're $9.50 per square foot. And how much could we save if we did regular tab or architectural? Okay, so regular is usually $2 per square foot and architectural is $4.50. So why don't we do the luxury? So they're more weather resistant. Uh, they need to be professionally installed usually due to their higher weight, but that same weight also does make them more weather resistant Which means that we don't have to replace them as often which means that we won't get as many phone calls Which is easier, which is good. So we probably want to do that Mostly made of asphalt, but can be mixed with many other materials for customized looks and finishes. That's pretty cool That'd be a fun thing to advertise and They are more durable and need to be replaced less often. I Think we should do those. I think that's a good call. All right, so I guess we have to figure out like what kind of roofing, you know, because mm -hmm. I'm the expert on roofing and stuff. Well, you okay. do tile roofing. Tile roofing is like not that I know a lot about that. What's like, what are some mm -hmm. good stuff about it? I mean, tile roofing, first off, it's visually pleasing. It lasts a long time. Moving it takes a while and like mm -hmm. overall installation, but like that's a roof that will stay for a really long time. See, I have a okay. similar material, or uh, luxury shingles and even architectural shingles. You know, luxury shingles, they're a little bit more on the expensive side. And they take the experts to install on the, you know, like the average person can install them, but they do last a long time and they can withstand the, any weather in Indiana. Oh, at that's all. Cool. Yeah, they'll yeah. last for years and years. No maintenance, not a lot of maintenance. Okay. The one I know a lot about is asphalt roofing. And that one's cool because like it's a little bit, it's a little bit on the cheaper side, but it's also like a little bit more cost effective and uh, it may not be as durable, but it's super, super easy to install. So we could mm -hmm. install it ourselves if we wanted to. Um, it's usually shipped and made in rolls called like roll roofing. So mm -hmm. like you literally just like roll it out and like punch it down. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's very also a uh, high fire and weather proof. So like, you know, like it's good for those things as well. And it's very easy to like replace and repair. It's mm -hmm. very accessible. Yeah, no, but one thing we got to think about is uh, the Lafayette building code. Oh, like, um, all the houses right. that we work on here, like, they have to be very matching to, like, the mm -hmm. surrounding neighborhood. Like, tile roofing, that usually comes in, like, a more orange-red color, so it wouldn't yeah. match in very be well. Aesthetic. Yeah, because when I'm thinking of asphalt roofing, I'm thinking of, like, the three tab shingles. And it is cost-effective and cheap, but you kind of do have to, like, keep up with the maintenance a lot. And it, that's true, that's you true. You just keep changing yeah. them out, and they're I'm not very, like, on one maintenance. Of Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, why don't you just yeah, yeah, you your roof, buddy? Come on. Now you fail. I'm like, okay. not doing it. It's very different. But yeah, we probably shouldn't do asphalt because the maintenance would be crazy. Yeah. 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 College kids are animals and they'd probably find a way to break it. True. Yeah. Somebody would jump on the roof. Oh, absolutely. And break it. I would jump on Well, no, I wouldn't because I'm scared of heights. So I wouldn't yeah. jump on the roof. Yeah, but luxury shingles, like, are there, like, places around where we can get that pretty easily? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the material is pretty easy to find at any place. You probably have to order it in. I know that you could probably do, like, different colors and different shades, but mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that luxury, or uh, what the shingles that you were talking about, tile shingles, would be perfect for this. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll look into that more later, and uh, I'll get back to you guys on that. Okay. Right on. We have our company meeting soon. Oh, Sarah, um, yeah, I forgot something. I... I just need to go get it. Okay, yeah, because, mm -hmm. you know, we're all dropping out of school together to join this company, so. Well, um, yeah, um, it might take a, a while to find it, like, maybe until, like, 1.30. Okay. Mm -hmm. You want to join in the soon 150 election room for so long. It's pretty open there to find something if you lost it. Wait, she's not going to drop out of school anymore. She's going to lecture at 11.20. Oh, God, I have to. Think Home Depot is worse than Lowe's. Did, did you even hear the theme song? Bro, no, we've don't, got to use Lowe's. It's don't, better don't, price. Don't, 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 don't. Bro, no, get don't, out of here. Don't, 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 don't. What are you doing? <laughs>
well, they're a little bit more expensive and they need my professional installation, but they're a lot more durable. They're up to the building codes. I think that'd be the perfect choice. So. Okay, great. I was right all along. Let's do it, guys. All right. Let's do it. Awesome. Right on. So what do we do next?